is a Rand's seat rail. So three holes, three holes on a rail. Um, the two M5s go here, one on each end. I put a little grease, which I've done off camera ahead of time on each one. The center one is a Phillips head that goes down the middle. Now the key here is you want to tighten them evenly. And I just, I barely have that one tight there. And then I'm going to tighten each one of these guys. on each end, tight, tight, tight. So now we got the seat rail on. Now you'll want to look and see how even it is. They won't be perfectly even, um, but a little, a little bowing is fine. As long as the slider slides on there, it's no problem. So, V slider. You have these two guys, the inserts you'll put in, you have a quick release on the bottom, and then this this is the part I'm going to send you guys um, these bolts here, and I'll show you that in a second. So this just goes over the top. Make sure the quick release is on the opposite side of the chain. You put it down. Oops, I'll get that. And the key to this slider is that you tighten the top ones first. So I'm gonna put, this is what the Rand one comes with, which is a M8. You'll notice that this is shaved down. That's for their seats, not for our seat. But So that's why we're gonna replace this other part I'm gonna show you here in a second. So I'm gonna snug that. Now here's the M845 button head. Now this is this did not come with your bike. I'm going to send you one if you need one, or if you can source one, um, we'll go that route. So I'm using an M8, a washer, on both sides. Now this is going to thread in the same way, but the only difference is I'm going to leave a gap on both sides. And the gap is for the seat mount. So you see from the top I have about a finger width on either side. Now here's the seat mount. The seat mount, um, they designed this for our, our clamp system here, but these holes were not drilled far enough down, so that's why we're making a couple modifications. This is actually gonna be a safer setup anyway. So now, um, at some point, I'll be able to send you a new piece here. Thankfully, these are modular and at some point, I'm going to send you a perfect fit of these two guys. But right now, this is actually a great fix. So now I'm going to slide down. The width is good, but you got to make sure these are balanced on either side. Like that. Okay, and then I'm pushing all the way down on this. So it's level. And then I'm going to tighten these guys down. Now you want to put a little tip on this. Next. So first thing, so the clamp works correctly, is the top has to be tight. So we're going to do these guys until there's no gap there right here. Then we're going to do these guys. Now, what's a little tricky is that when we bring the seat down, we want to make sure that that's lined up. So I'm going to tip it like that. So I kind of have an idea where to tip that. So this is where we want this bracket to end up, is kind of in this spot. Let's see. Five millimeters. Okay, so I tighten that. Now you also have these for safety, which go in like this. And this is so the whole system doesn't pop out on you. 
and I can sinew these guys too. And we can tighten those last. But that's so even if these come loose, you're not gonna you're not gonna lose the whole shebang there. Okay, so now we're lined up. And these are the ones that came with the seat. They go right on top. I'm just lining the threads up. There's one started. The other one here. Okay, so this one So seat is secure on top. Now, last step is the quick release right here. Rance has a recessed section for this. I'm gonna tighten the quick release. And now we have, these have to be pretty tight. But if it slides a lot on you, it's because you haven't closed the top gap first. Okay, so there's tight. And if I wanna move it, I loosen, and now I can actually move it by hand. Notice how much movement I have. So that's a properly installed Rand's clamp. And also, which I didn't show you guys, is I actually installed the top piece first. So, um, and I also want to make sure there's not a lot of pre-tension on the seat. So you always want to balance these two. Some people will try to tighten both sides down. I'll, you know, two or they tighten all the way down, they tighten the other ones down, and they'll break the seat. So that's not a meta bike thing. That's a performer thing. You got to make sure um, these are balanced when you tighten them. That's it? Okay. Here's how to do the chain on your Mystique. So it will come with... Um, a TerraCycle idler, and that's the idler that goes down here. The key to know how to use this is when you're installing it, you're going to have, you're going to undo these two guys. The first thing you do is you cut these to length. You're going to need one on each side, right? So I'm cutting this right here, and then I'm cutting the same length here. They don't have to be exact. It's because no one makes a 58 millimeter. This is actually a 60 millimeter, so I'm gonna have one on each side like this, right? That's how it should look when it goes on your frame. You can see an example there. Now the key to this is that when you, when you put it on there, notice I've already installed that one. The key to this is you tighten this guy down, you have it on there, but you tighten this guy down first. It's going to feel like it's not going to get tight enough. You'll notice that this one bottoms out inside here, but this one is open. So what I do is when it's on the frame there, I tighten this guy all the way down. Right? Again, it's on there. And then you tighten this guy second. So when you have those two and it will get tight enough. Um, you kind of see how much is sticking out right here. So that's properly installed. Now, you'll also notice that I oriented the whole thing underneath the top idler. So it should be, it doesn't have to absolutely be there, but that's the best spot. Um, it's almost right against the tube, but not touching it down here. The other thing, the last step of that idler is you're gonna, this is adjustable right here. Some of you guys have TerraCycle experience, so this is not going to be anything new for you. But this pivots, and you just want to pivot this at the same angle it goes in. And then I tighten it up. That has to be pretty tight, but don't strip it out. This is also adjusted at the lowest point, I think. Well, there's a little bit more, but this doesn't... You'll have to kind of play with the height. We have it fairly low. So that's number, that's number one. After that's on, I'm also oriented directly... You know, you want it uh, perfectly aligned this way, too. So that's number one. That'll have no problem down there. Now, when you ship this bike, 
generally it has, and this is all you have to do, it'll have this up inside here, right? It also will have another one pointing the other direction. It'll come with a tube that faces this way. So you can pull, this will be zip tied to this, it'll be sitting in there. You're gonna pull this one all the way off. You don't need this back one from our testing. So that back one comes off then you're gonna pull this, and this is zip tied to this, and you're gonna put it on the very outside. And the reason we do that is so there's no scrape, it doesn't scrape up against the idler. Then I retighten this, and notice I'm aligning it. And when you're done, this should have a slight should go the same angle, should have a slight S bend in it. It's okay to bend this, you just wanna make it so it aligns directly underneath, like that. Now also take note of the chain line. The only other thing I had to do was, when I, when I ran this tube, I cut that much section off. So nothing's getting stuck right here. So that gives us, that gives us the best clearance. Up here you'll see one idler, I didn't do anything to that guy. This floats on there on purpose. Notice it comes off the bottom of the chain ring and then goes over the top. So it's under, over, under, right? This one, which is the longer tube, over, under, and then we have a straight shot back here. That's the correct setup. It will, I don't have derailleur set up yet, but it's going to be, uh, that's going to work like a charm there. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of me.